Well, there's been an update. They've reduced the Corrupted Gauntlet Grandmaster requirement from 150 KC to just 50. So that is that task done. There are 11 Corrupted Gauntlet tasks to be completed. And by far the hardest one will be the Corrupted Gauntlet Speedrunner. I'm going to aim to get this one done off the bat. And then I think the other ones should be fairly easy to complete. So if I don't hit a zero here, I've probably got this. Yeah, we'll just be like two seconds. Ah, it's eight seconds off! <laughs> That has to be it. Oh, that's so fast. Oh my god. Oh, I've managed to do this with like over nearly a minute to spare. I'll never ever beat that. I don't think I will anyway. I managed to complete some of the easier combat achievements along the way, like perfected corrupted hunt left, where basically you just don't make any mistakes. So I've only got a few left and they should be easy to knock out. Right, I've only got a minute left and my inventory is giving me seasickness. Well, I've only got one perfected weapon and four food. So this is how the hardcore Iron Man do it. I guess they have like far worse stats than me, but I only used one food that whole kill. And now for pretty much the opposite, I can't take in any armor, but I have a full inventory of food. Okay, that wasn't so bad either. I played it safe, didn't really use that many redemptions, just eight. Right, I don't know why, but I seem to be struggling way more with the normal gauntlet than the corrupted gauntlet tasks. I have finished all the normal gauntlet tasks now, aside from one, which is the speedrunner one. For the life of me, I cannot seem to get a kill below five minutes. All right, I've spent like maybe seven hours trying to get a sub 410. I don't know how I can get like a five minute corrupted gauntlet run, but I can't seem to get under four minutes for this. I've been doing the gauntlet over and over again for the last two days, so I'm a bit tired of it now. I'm going to do something else and probably leave this one till later. My priority within the next few weeks will be to take on the easy, medium and hard tiers of the combat achievement diary. I'm also going to take a stab at doing some of the master and grandmaster tiers, but some of them I might be priced out of. I have to plan things accordingly as there's a GE tax and I don't want to constantly buy and sell weapons to do these tasks. Okay, unfortunately, I've only been able to do one of the Scatizo tasks here. I was trying to avoid all damage, but I messed up. So I got the up for a challenge task, but I'm going to need to get way more totems to finish off Scatizo. Yo, collection log content. Kraken Tentacle at 450. Oh, grats, thank you. All right, that's the big one done. 100, wait, no, it's not. All right, I'm being exposed. This is not live commentary. I'm not going to live commentate over 100 Kraken kills. I've got better things to do, like watch things while I do this. Here is my Kraken collection log. I w do I want to get the jar of dirt? No. Did any other YouTuber make this meme? Let me know in the comments. Why are you running? Why are you running? Ooh, I have quite the history with this boss. There are eight combat achievements for the Abyssal Sire boss, and they all look pretty easy to do. Don't move. Ooh, yes, Elite Clue. The first Master Clue casket out of three that I'm about to do is absolute dog shit. Oh no, hold on. Collection log. Wow. Master clue casket two out of three. Pause. This could be collection log. Let's go. The third and final master clue casket contains nothing. They were all pretty shit. Here's my collection log for master clues. I just want that to be honest, but um, I've got an anguish ornament kit, which is nice. The boots of darkness that I just got and an old demon mask from many moons ago. <gasps> I got an unsired. Right, everybody pause your champ. Let's do in-game music. Bring. 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 My friends, it is a spine. I have two out of three bludgeon pieces now. Yo! Nice. 
A full bludgeon complete is a nice 20 mil addition to the bank value. Well, I completed all of the combat achievements at Sire, and this is my collection log for Sire. Don't need the pet, don't need a jar. I'm pretty sure I got a jar before the collection log came out though. There are more important things at hand than getting that pet in the jar at this minute. I still need totem pieces from Skatizo, so from this point forward, I will be doing Abyssal Demon tasks at the Abyssal Demons. Oh, this is big. I believe there's a few combat achievements for gargoyles, but I don't have enough money to do it. The Grotesque Guardians house a whopping 50 combat achievements. I have been told that the Grandmaster task to kill the Grotesque Guardians in less than 1 minute and 20 seconds is rather difficult without a scythe. The master task of killing 5 in a row while completing the perfect task also seems rather challenging. I'm going to have to sell some gear if I want to be able to afford this scythe, including my Ancestral. And there's some tasks that I actually need this Ancestral for. Once I'm done with it, I'll sell it and I only need to make about 40 or 50 mil to be able to afford a scythe. Let's try and make some money at the God Wars Dungeon. All right, that's what I wanted to use my Ancestral for, the Org Freezer and the General Showdown Combat Task. All right, that is all the Armada tasks that I can currently do. You're basically blocked out of doing Elite Master and Grand Master God Wars tasks until you finish the Easy, Medium and Hard Diary. Once you finish those diaries, you get access to privately rented instances. And for the Harder Tiers to count, you have to do them in a private instance. Hey, with a bit of help, that is the Hard Diaries done for Zami. I had to finish off the boss while all the minions were down. Same again to do for the Sarah God Wars boss here. I have the Armadil and Bandos pet and I'd love to get the Saradamin pet so I'm going to try and do a full trip here. <laughs> what? I have a day off. An Armadil crossbow. I've just walked in. Oh my god. I've made I need that 40 mil to buy the scythe. <laughs> And I've just got it as soon as I've walked in. That's proper mental, mate. This is the collection log as it stands for the Saradamin boss. All right, took me a couple kills to get the task done, but that's all the hard tasks done at Saradamin. Collection log entry, folks. Isn't that poggers? Well, that's the end of my trip. I managed to get 245 room KC. I think I left for a P a couple times, though, so it would have been a bit more. Did the dolo method with my alt machine gunning the minions. Right. This is what I planned to sell. And I sold the ACB already, so I have the cash, the ancestral. I'm gonna get rid of the code, I'll just use an ancient stuff for now. I found a basilisk jaw in the bank too, so I'll sell that and I should be close to a scythe. One more GP, go on. Oh, right, I'm waiting, I'm not having it. We're going back to Gauntlet and it will give us a notification, won't it? We'll go, oh, well done, you bought a scythe. <gasps> it bought! <laughs> Let's go! My brethren in Christ, I've actually actually melted through these and i'm probably gonna unlock so many tasks that, that there's five how many is that four i'm not gonna read them out no i think i've done the speed run here without even trying the scythe is a bit of a privilege i'm not gonna lie oh, i'm quite far off right i've just finished another three complete piss random tasks that nobody cares about all right none of you lot in the comment section down below forewarned me about how many blood runes scythe eats through because i'm poor so i'm gonna have to sell my crystal armor now Right, I'm going to spend this 40 mil on blood runes and a blood shard as well, because I'll need that for Fasani and for the 20 kill trip. All right, I've done the perfect grotesque guardian task, which is basically where you have to not take any unavoidable damage. I now have to do that five times in a row. Oh, cri oh absolutely cringe. This is bad. I'm alive. I'll scythe here. I don't think I'll get the chally. Now I'll chally. 126, bruv. Am I a second out? All right, Tom, think big. <laughs> Absolutely slappingtoned. I thought the speed run would be the hardest task as it is a grandmaster, but I struggled with this master task. All right, here we go. Five kills without fucking up. Here we go. All right, blowpipe, don't... Oh, I hate this game. Absolutely sweaty twat. All right, here we go. No, 
Nearly instantly failed it. Good start. I'll clap in the chat if you do it. Wow, two Vardas, thank you. It's really kind of you to... <gasps> no way! Have I just got hit by a fucking frisbee? Five minute, 40 second. At the corrupted Hunleth. Easy. Easy compared to this, trust me. Well, that's all the CA's done for Grotesque Guardians. I'm going to stay here and do another 120 kills. Sorry! I know it's boring, but I want the pet. A, B, C, G Grotesque Guardians. Here we go. I uh, Oh, I got a hammer one time. That's weird. I feel like I've never killed these since... When did this come out? What came out first? The collection log or Grotesques? Wow, Guns Chili from the past. What a great question you've asked, future you. Well, you see here, Grotesque Guardians came out in October of 2017, and the collection log came out in December of 2018. 18. A large spec, please. What just happened? I did not fill in any collection log slots. Not even a crumb of a tourmaline core, a granite hammer, a granite glove. Like, you name it, it wasn't. It didn't come up. It never happened. I can almost taste it. I'm so nearly free from the easy, medium, and hard combat achievements. Some of them have been really fun, and some of them have been quite boring. I won't include a lot of them that I just tear through because I don't really know what I'm doing to complete them. But rest assured, I'm up for a challenge and looking forward to doing the elite master and grandmaster tasks. Ladies and gentlemen, Barrows. I wasn't going to include footage from this, but I struggled. What do you think I struggled with? Maybe a hard task, maybe an elite task. No, it was a medium. Kill Darok, Verak, Torek, and Guthan without letting them attack you with melee and loot the chest. Bolt rack? No way. I opened it from there last time and I got caught. So I'm going to open it from here. <gasps> Fuck. I've got one, one brother left to kill. Hopefully I get him at the... Fuck! What the, how I, what do I do in that situation? <gasps> Don't do it in the corner this time. I miss I'm fucking I dead What are you doing there, Darok? Darok! No! Darok! Darok! Good. We just have to not fuck up in the tunnel. We've done them all so far, apart from the last one. Now I have to kill it in time before it unfreezes. <sighs> I'm not kidding, that took me nine runs. That was over an hour. Four jabs with melee, corrupted gauntlet speedrunner. All of that has nothing compared to what I've just done. I just don't understand this. I've got to kill a fire giant. Like, why? Alert. There are unfilled spaces in your collection log that will can be easily filled. And just like that, I have filled in... 25 collection log slots. I obviously wanted to get that Shazian armor to do this task, which is to kill a lizard man shaman. I didn't really need it, but it was nice to fill up the collection log slots, eh? <gasps> Drill Sergeant! For my 269th collection log slot, I get an invisible helmet. Well, that really fits on my head nicely. Oh, I'm at Winter Todd and I've already been told to shut the f Okay, I need to get 3,000 points here at Winter Todd to finish the rest of the Winter Todd combat achievements. I actually really enjoyed this. I didn't think I would, but um, you basically run back and forth to the braziers and light them for points. And it's quite fun. I don't know why. My Winter Log Collection Todd look... What have I just said? My Winter Todd Collection Log looks like this. I would like to get the pet one day now that I figured out that soloing is quite reclined. All right, I have a bit of a plan now. Um, I need to kill five Hesporis, which will take three days for me to grow because I've already got two KC. In that time, I'd like to do a couple of things. I need to get some more Dark Totems for the Skatizo combat achievements. I know my bank value looks okay, but I really hate buying and selling stuff, so I'd like to also make some more money. Think big. Think big. Think big. Oh. That's got to be it, right? Yep. Amazing. That's the speed run done. Uh, I'm going to go back to Slayer now and try get tasks that give me totems. If I get some fun boss tasks, I will do them, but not long term boss tasks. Hmm. I am going to complete the fight caves with melee. Oh, I'm actually melting. You know what's been so fun about playing a maxed main again? Is simply watching number go further up 
and number go bigger. All right, that is the facing Jad head on task complete. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was so much fun. And I'm really looking forward to doing more of these fight cave tasks. I have 18 fight capes and the Jad pet, so no need to show you my log. It took me all day, but I have three dark totems to use to get these Skateza tasks done. Okay, I need to kill Skateza with no alters active, with a demon bane weapon, kill him five times, kill Skateza without taking any damage, kill Skateza without equipping a demon bane weapon, and kill Skateza with a chin chomper, reflecting damage off the minion. Die. Yeah, cool. That's two of them done. I now need to do the ranged ones. Okay, I had to use another totem because I can't throw a chin at the minion without taking damage from the boss. So I did the one where I didn't take damage first and now I'll do the one where I throw the chin. Yeah, that should be it, right? No! Eey. Precise positioning. The last of the Skatizo combat achievements I've got to do, which is nice because then I don't have to do a lot of slayer tasks that I don't really want to do. Didn't get anything from these. A very difficult collection log to complete because the jar is ridiculously rare. I think I've completed a combat tier. Wow, I get I get a lamp and an IUD. Okay, uh, I just need to hand in my Hespori KC to complete the hard diaries now. In the meantime, I need to get up to scratch with Theater of Blood because there are some very challenging tasks to do and I currently suck at Tob. Oh no. Wow, we did a master task there, which is to get the boss down in two. I have decided I want to sell my Zarite crossbow. The reason being it's difficult to find next teams. Really, really difficult. I do intend on buying it back, but I'll finish off some of the tasks here and sell it. And with the money, I will buy my ancestral back and maybe some Inquisitor to pieces. <laughs> well, a day has passed, so that is four Hespori KC. Got to find something to do for another day now. Purple for me. <laughs> oh, there is one. Oh, it actually is as well. It's mine. No oh, way. Wedges, oh, this is the Dan Wedges scythe. Oh. A Vernick Defender scythe. We take it. That is a nice 9.8 mil split. Well, my friends, the time has come. My Hespori seed will grow. And from that point on, I have to take on much harder challenges. I'm going to task myself with a very hard solo challenge, which is to complete all tiers of the Fasani's Nightmare combat achievements. All right, I've sold my range gear and I'm buying an Inquisitor set. I've got an off in for Ancestral as well. And I am geared for Fasani's Nightmare. I have a Blood Fury here. I'm going to use this while I learn. It's so expensive. Each Blood Shard is about 10 mil right now. I don't really plan on tackling the Grandmaster combat achievements for Fasani's until I get the Sleepy Tablet. Just because when I fail, it will take about 5 to 10 minutes to run back to get my stuff. The Sleepy Tablet is a 1 in 100 reward from defeating Fasani's Nightmare. I will be starting off this loot grind with a KC of 14. Hopefully by the time I get the Sleepy Tablet, I will have learned enough to be able to tackle some of the combat achievements. This is obviously not live commentary as I was too busy heavily breathing and concentrating, but this was my second kill in one trip. There is a task where you have to kill four in a trip and I felt like if I got a food drop here, I might be able to do it. And I just got that. I'm honestly on pace to do this four nightmare thing. I got prayer pots and sharks. I think I might actually be able to do this. <gasps> Fuck, I died! No. I was doing so well. I had three done. I reckon I could have got that. Oh, bollocks, man. The annoying thing with that task is that you use so many blood runes in your scythe and you use so many blood charges in your blood fury. It probably costs like 1.5 to 2 mil to even attempt that task. So I'm not going to attempt it again. I'm going to start taking a torture and just get to grips with the boss and wait for the sleepy tablet. Well, on the last episode of In Debt for a Pet that I made, I managed to get the sleepy tablet on that account with some budget gear. So I can run the supplies on that account to my main. It's a bit cheap, but it's very nice to do. Well, I've managed to complete a uh, master combat task. That's for Sony's speed chaser. It's not the, the really fast one you have to do, but that's a new PP of eight minutes and 42 seconds. Okay, that's an 824. Hey, 815, we're getting faster, but still a good 45 seconds off what I need to be at. Well, I am 14 HP and the sleepers hit 15s, so I am dead. All right, I assume they reduced the KC for the Grandmaster task, so I've got that by killing 25. Oh no. Oh no. 
Wait, I should proc here. Okay. Whew. Magic logs, never lucky. Well, my friends, the Fasani's fun is over temporarily. I'm going to have to kill this Hespori in Void because I sold my Bandos to get my Ancestral back. But this is the last Hespori kill I need to complete all of the hard achievements. Well, there it is. Five KC done at Hespori. So I've done the Hespori adapter task. I'm a bit confused. I thought that was all of them. I must have something else to do. I completely forgot. I, I attempted this task a few days ago, but I got hit off by a team while I was streaming. So I just stopped doing it, but I, in my brain, thought I had it done. But this is the last hard combat achievement task I have to do. Hey, it's done. All the grindy, boring ones from easy to hard. It's over. Hey, time to claim my rewards for completing three of the combat achievement tiers. I get uh, a red IUD, some more experience points, and I have access to private instances at God Wars now, which means I can crack on with the elite tasks. <gasps> that is the best drop you can get. That isn't the best drop you can get. Oh my god, holy shit. Oh, that's so nice to get. Grats on ugly pet. Yeah, I guess the original nightmare boss looks nicer. The the transmog doesn't look that great, but it doesn't matter. It's collection log and Shelby will be proud. What am I doing? I've had more collection log moments on the way back to picking up my stuff than at the nightmare itself. You know, I'm getting used to this now. I think I need to start bringing a granite maul instead of claws, and then I might be able to have a chance at getting some uh, some speedier kills. Piss shagging, shit. Uh, there's no way <laughs> I've got a beekeeper. If I if I do this beekeeper, that means there's two collection log slots filled in on the way back from dying versus the one egg that I've gotten at nightmare. Well, thank you for my gloves, Mr. Beekeeper. I'm quite surprised I've not got the perfect Fasani's Nightmare task done yet. I think it's because the sleepwalkers are reaching Fasani's Nightmare before I finish it off on the final phase. And I'm assuming that that one doesn't allow it to count. All right, I've got my granite mall now and I'm looking forward to using it. I'm not being funny, but I think this is it. I think I've got it here. I think that's it. It has to be. I've... Uh, I have two minutes on my combat pot. Oh. I am two seconds off. No! What am I doing? Oh. From this point forward, I would leave the room if I wasn't getting big XP drops on the first phase. For this kill, I was getting big XP drops, so there was a hope and a chance that I was going to be able to complete the speedrunner task. Oh, yes. Yes. 96, pretty much on rate. Let's go. All right, it is time, my friends. I, I didn't get many done passively while going for the tablet, but I felt like I was pretty close to getting the perfect one done a couple times. The speedrunner, I was literally two seconds off and uh, killing five in a row without leaving. It's going to be hard, but I think I can do it. I'm going to have to top up my blood fury here and hopefully do that five in a row one without spending too much money. We do a bit of gaming. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry there's a sandstorm, so I couldn't really provide you much updates on my player-owned house, but I have a massive giant egg, an IUD, and an armadillo crossbow to show for today's antics. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It was so fun to make. I got to use a really cool tool made by a gentleman called Trillion Studios. If you know a thing or two about Blender and you would like to create RuneScape scenes with exported chunks from the game, 
hit him up. He's created an amazing tool that allows you to extract entire chunks from the game's map into Blender. I managed to cram in so much progress this episode. I have 277 collections logged. I've got 260 out of the 421 combat tasks completed. In the next video, I'm going to wean off the progress a bit and try and do some long-term grinds that I've been looking forward to doing for a while, such as pet hunting and making money. My twitch.tv link is in the description below. I'll be streaming some progress across the next few weeks. If not, I'll see you on the next video. Take care and goodbye.